Bob here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take the Yagi antenna that we unboxed and assembled in the previous video. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. <clears throat> but we're going to take that antenna now and hook it up to an analyzer and adjust it to get the lowest SWR that we can get so we have maximum performance of the antenna. So without further ado, as they say, let's get on with the video. So just a quick uh, review back, this is an antenna that I bought. It's a five element Yagi beam antenna. I bought it from Arrow Antennas and I purchased it because I've moved north about 40 miles outside of New Orleans and I'm trying to see if I can put this up and maybe hit some, uh, some of the repeaters back in New Orleans that I used to be able to uh, contact with. So this next slide shows you the US amateur radio bands there's uh, three levels of licensing in the amateur radio arena, the lowest being the technician, followed by general, then amateur extra. I currently hold the amateur extra, which is the highest one. With the highest one, you get access to all these bands and frequencies. Um, as a technician and a general, your access increases as you go up the licensing ch uh, chain. But anyways, um, what we're looking for is a 70 centimeter band, which I've circled in yellow on this chart. <clears throat> and we're gonna try and optimize our uh, antenna to work within that band. So I've already uh, hooked up the antenna to the analyzer. We're gonna go ahead and pick panoramic scan. Then we will select the frequency, which is 70 centimeters. And then we'll hit okay. And we will start the scan. And you can see here the scan is scanning across the band and it's completed. And it's not too good. So I've isolated a screenshot after the scan so we can look at it better. And you can see on the left side um, the SWR is uh, above the 5.0 mark. It's almost to a 6. I've added those numbers in on the left and right to uh, let you see it a little bit better. So we go from almost a six down to a four across the band and at six o'clock on the picture, you can see an SWR average of 4.79. Ideally, you want a one to one match um, so you can get all your power that you transmit out the antenna and into the air. Otherwise, if you don't have that match, your, your power will be, will be reflected back to the radio and be lost in the form of heat, which could eventually shorten the life of your radio because um, electronics, of course, don't like an excessive amount of heat. Of course, getting a one-to-one -one match, everything has to be perfect, and it never is, so all we can do is try to get it as close as possible, but ideally you do want to be at least under 1.5 to 1 um, to get the best possible results with your radio. And here's a little chart I found out on the internet that explains the SWR ranges and some po possible results if you operate too far above the 1.5 so you can pause the video and take a look at that if you'd like to but we're going to move on and make some adjustments and see if we can get it, the SWR a little bit better all right so now we are going to go to the antenna and adjust the uh, gamma match with the little adjustment here just push it down and then we're basically going to rerun the scan after after we did that to see what effect it has on the SWR. And here we are scanning again. And this time, as you can see, the results are much better. So again, another screenshot isolating the scan results. As you can see from the left side, we're slightly above 1.5. And we go down to 1.3 and the average at 6 o'clock uh, on the uh, screenshot is 1.41 to 1. Um, this is way better, but I forgot to tighten down the gamma mat screw. screw and since this is electrical, we want a very secure contact. So I'm going to fix that and we're going to redo the scan again. So let's get back to the antenna. Tighten down... The the gamma match adjustment and then we will do another scan and see where we're at 
with the SWR. Once again, panoramic scan, frequency is already set, so we'll just start the scan. And guess what? After tightening down the electrical connection, we even get better results than we did. And again, I've isolated a screenshot. You can see we're slightly under 1.4 on the left and under 1.5 on the right with an average SWR now of 1.26, where we had 1.41 before. So I'm happy. The next thing to do is get this thing up on the mass and see if we can make some contacts with the repeaters down in New Orleans. Well, that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun making it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll get back with you. I'll also leave links to the antenna and analyzer in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed it again. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.